I'm Mr. Grinler. And I'm Mrs. Grinler. And, and this is Grinler's Creatures. And welcome back to another episode of Grindler's Creatures. And well, today wasn't actually meant to be an episode, but I found something really cool. And I want to show you guys because one, I've never filmed this before. And two, I've never seen it this extreme before. And don't worry, it's nothing mental. You guys probably won't even think it's a big deal, but I think it's really cool. So yeah, I want to show you this today. But first of all, I want to explain what I was doing today. Now I've had my pink gloves ready today and I've been cleaning some glass. And it's taken me a bit longer than it should have, but let me show you guys. Let's see if you can actually see a difference. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see much, but I've, I've tried to clean the glass up a bit. But even that one's trying to make it messy. I need to put some water dishes back in. But anyway, what I was going to show you today, I might as well just show you now quick. So, you know what? We're going to name this video. Let me put the camera down. We're going to name this video. I should probably take this glove off as well. Hang on. I don't want to be wearing these. We're going to name this video probably saying along the lines of Ferrofosa updates because it has actually been about six to eight weeks since I've updated you guys on these. So uh, yeah, let's show you a little update and uh, I'll show you this really cool thing that I found as well. So we're going to start off with the Ferrofosa Apophysis and basically this was the next tank to be cleaned up. I was going to clean the glass up and give it a little feed, water, dampen the moss and that. But look what I've come across and I have taken some videos of it because uh, this camera is probably not going to pick it up. But if you have a look here, she has webbed up really nicely and that plant's doing all right as well for the time being but i don't know if you guys can see she has webbed the whole entrance up and she has put layers and layers of hairs all along that entrance and uh yeah i'd imagine that ferrofosa would do this and you know the reason why they're doing it is because it's, it's defense it's uh you know any predators that come along they're going to get a face full of hair and uh yeah, the minute they walk through that web and it's absolutely it's incredible if you think about it. like down there is a big old clump of it and the camera doesn't actually pick it up very well but she is very bald inside now and uh yeah i'm not going to disturb her too much literally i'm just going to show you guys this i'm going to put her back and fingers crossed she uh she gets through her molt all right but absolutely incredible and uh look, i don't know if you can see it there I really hope you guys can see it. Let me show you a couple clips now quick. I'll chuck a little bit of music over it. Uh, we'll use the macro camera, I'll show you some of that. While we got her down, just have a look at this. You can see a little bit of condensation down there, but it's not really filled up with water. The uh, soil is uh, it's not dry, it's nice actually. It's quite nice. And then uh, I need to dampen this moss, although I do not want to disturb her to be honest. And uh, nah, I needed to show you this on the channel. I need to show everyone and doc just document it down, have it on there for if I ever want to have a look back and you know, to reference this. And now I'm so, honestly, I'm so, so happy I've seen this. Absolutely incredible. And um, like I said, that plant even looks like it's doing all right, to be fair. We're going from there. Look at that. It doesn't look, you know, there's a couple of leaves that have fallen off, but it looks a little bit healthy. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really into plants. You know, imagine just a predator coming along, going into that web, pow, greeted by a bunch of hair. And that's what's really cool about New Worlds, the fact that they can use their urticating hairs for that. It's incredible. But I guess now we should show you the Ferrofos of Sturmy. And we'll have a look at that. I'm quite happy with this plant as well, but I'll show you that. Let me just sort out this table. Let me put her back nicely. Let's do this. So I think this was one of the last three houses out of the two that I did. I think I did the Apophysis first, then the Sturmy after. And uh, the first thing I can see, if you have a look here, 
she has filled that water dish right up look at that absolutely disgusting and um, it's full of mud so that's going to need a change but if you can see these plants just here look they are shooting up let's take the lid off actually that's a I don't know where she is. She is at her burrow entrance, so. Yeah, look, so some of the plants look like the leaves look like they're dying, but you can see, look, they're shooting up. That's a good sign, is it not? I'm not really a plant person, but there is the stomy just there. And don't worry, we are gonna be chucking some food in. We are, uh, I can't end this video without a little bit of food. Then again, I might show you a little bit of feeding footage of this and some old apophysis footage. So yeah, again, if we, uh, we have a look at the clay balls. You can see a bit of condensation in there. The soil, pro oh, I don't know. That's probably a little bit too moist for me. I bet she's loving that though. I'm just glad the plant's doing all right, if I'm honest. But yeah, she, she normally just comes out, chills. She likes uh, sitting up here as well, sitting on top of the moss uh, when that's damp. But yeah, definitely gonna need to change that water bowl. But so far, they're doing all right. I'm quite happy. Uh, honestly, I thought these plants were going to die within weeks. And uh, that was probably one of my biggest worries, the plants. Because, uh, yeah, I haven't really delved into plants much. So I'll, I'm chuffed with that. So if we put the light on this, actually, because I've got to do this one-handed. Let me grab some feeders quick. So I've got two little Mario worms on the table. And uh, we don't want to lose them. And we're just going to chuck them in. So let's do it. We'll go with the bigger one first. Come back here. Come back. Come on. Give us a little treat. Boom. Look at that. Good. We're going with the last one. I, I do love the ferrophosas. Again, I, I still need a uh, blondie. I still need a blondie. I'm looking for that confirmed female. Again, if anyone knows the one, please drop it down in the comments. I'm, I'm really eager to get one. Let's uh, complete the free ferrophosas. Oh, should we chuck one more in? Let's do it. Let's do it. Honestly, the, the apophysis and sturmy is just absolutely awesome for takedowns. They honestly never disappoint. Obviously, if I've chucked one in with the apophysis now, it'd probably definitely disappoint because, uh, yeah, some pre-melt. But no, I'm really interested to see how that goes. And uh, it would be the first molt for her within that enclosure, which would be cool as well. This one hasn't molted within this one yet. Obviously, they've, they've only been in there for six to eight weeks. Uh, this one, six weeks. The other one, eight weeks. The apophysis is eight weeks. So I will update you guys when this apophysis molts. And fingers crossed, I can probably get it on footage. Well, actually, probably not. Because uh, there is a lot of webbing between that tarantula. Um, too much that I can't even pick it up on the camera for you guys. But yeah, it's such a chore. If you don't clean your glass often, honestly, it, it gets... It gets out of hand and I've got a lot of dirty tanks here because I haven't kept on top of it. So that's what I plan on doing for the next couple of days. I've started on this side and then I'm going to work my way around and go on that side. And uh, fingers crossed everything looks good for a little while <laughs> and then I can stay, stay on top of it again. So I guess I should do one thing and that is get my gloves back on because I've got a crap back on with all of this. I need to carry on. While I have got you guys here, I'm going to show you the rosea quick because, uh, as you can see, just there, uh, she is absolutely loving it. She's a, uh, <laughs> that water dish is absolutely insane. But if you move this round, she's uh, dug around here a little bit. So going round, if we look at the other side, 
just there. But yeah, it looks like she's enjoying that. I don't think she's going to last in there as long as I said. And then uh, we have to show that. And a nice tarantula cribs enclosure from Arachnose Face. If you haven't, make sure you go check them out. Absolutely awesome enclosures. But yeah, I, honestly, she just loves chilling at the top. Absolutely cool. I feel like I've showed this one quite a lot recently, but I'm, I'm in love with it, honestly. Absolutely in love with it. So while I get myself prepared to do some more cleaning, I did say I'll show you guys some Apophysis footage, some old footage, so yeah, have a look at some of this. Sturmy's doing a happy dance. I must look like a melon with these gloves on. But yeah, she's doing a little happy dance. Look at that. Incredible. Oh, I love her, honestly. Oh, and that apophysis is going to be huge. She is going to be huge. But anyway, guys, we're going to wrap the video up here. Sorry it's a short one. Sorry it's a weird one. I just really wanted to show you the uh, Ferrophosa Apophysis, what it's done with that hair. Uh, they're eradicating hair, absolutely incredible. Like I said, if a predator was to go up to that, it's gonna have a face full of eradicating hair. And that would be just insane. Imagine like a, a life-size spider kicking eradicating hairs and you, know, you walk into the web. <sniffs> Mate, you'll be, oh, you'll be itchy. You will be well itchy. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Like I said, I don't know how this video is going to turn out, but fingers crossed it's good. And fingers crossed I'll see you guys again next week. So, uh, yeah, let's get back to cleaning some enclosures and feeding, sorting out the water bowls. Definitely got to sort out the stermy because, yeah, that's just full of mud. So if you could like, comment and share, that would be absolutely great. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell icon so you're notified when we upload next. Don't forget, down in the description, there's a link for our link tree. It's got all our social medias on there. And it'd be greatly appreciated. If you can go check that out. I think I said it last video, but we started doing reels and shorts again, you know, like on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, uh, even our YouTube shorts channel. I think I said that last week. But yeah, make sure you go check that out because we started it back up. And as always, if you are, oh my God, she's still chilling there. She is still chilling there. If you're after some torrential cribs enclosures, Use my affiliate code to get 10% off. It is Grindler10 over at arachnospace.com. Or is it .co.uk? It's one of them. I'll, I'll put the link down in the description. How are you still staying there? Are you all right? See, look, that is incredible. Have a look at this. She is still there. I can't believe I just moved that and she is still there. But anyway, where did I get to? Where did I get to? I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know where I got to, so have a great week, guys. You all deserve it. Peace. It's a bit lonely without Charlotte.